Hello guys and welcome to Daily Updates. Guys, have you ever just wondered how much uh, the president, the deputy president, the ministers, Julius Malema, Stian Hazen and some of the leaders of the political parties, the MPs, how much they are getting paid annually? Well, wonder no more because I've got it here with me. The president approved a 3% increase on all these people annually. So they are going to be getting uh, an increase on their salaries that they've been getting previously. Now, let's look at how much these people will be earning on whether it's a lot or it's too little. In simpler terms, how much they are costing us to be where they are. Firstly, let's start with the president, Mr. Cyril Ramaphosa. He was previously earning annually 2,989,845. And now he's going to be earning 3,079,540. And then next up, David Mabuza. David Mabuza was previously earning 2,825,470. And now he's going to be earning uh, 2,910,234 rents. That is annually. Next up, ministers. You have Ronald Lamola. Uh... Mbalula, Peggy Kele, Lindu Sisulu, to name a few, but the ministers, that's what they are going to be getting. Uh, their new annual salary will be 2,473,682 rands. And then next on the list, uh, the leader of the DA, Mr. John Stian Hazen. Stian Hazen will be, was getting. 1,600,467 rands and now he will be earning 1,648,481. Next up on the list is uh, the leader of the EFF, Julius Malema. Malema was previously earning 1,346,232 rands. So now he's going to be earning 1,000,000 386,619 rands. And finally, I'm just naming a few, but it's a long list. Finally, the Speaker of the National Assembly, uh, Ms. Nosiviwe Mapisa Nakula, she will be earning 2,910,234 rands. This is how much the people are earning per annum, per year. It must be good to be a politician. It must be good. As much as they are traveling everywhere, they have all these allowances. This salary. It must be good to be a public speaker, a public figure. It must be good to be a politician because if this is what they are earning, we must be seeing good results in this country. It's a lot of money. Millions of money. It's a lot of money. They are getting good money. They deserve it, of course. They are getting it from us, the public. Now, what's left is for them to deliver what we want to see in this country. For people to get such a lot of money, there should be change in this country. You can't be getting huge salaries while we are not seeing any change in the country. Starting from the president, he's getting a lot of money. Three million to be accused of uh, the Palapala Pala farm there. Three million to promise the people jobs. Three million to just be there and always sweet talkers without having any solid thing. And Didi Mabuza, two million. Well... To be a deputy, uh, we, we don't see anything that is done by a DD. Maybe the ANC sees it, but we are not seeing anything. And for the ministers, they are getting two million, two and a half million, just to be there and talk nonsense there and do nothing there. They're actually not delivering anything. Even the ones that I've just mentioned, none of them is doing a good job, but they're getting two million. It's like getting two million to sit and do nothing and just direct and tell people what to do. 
Stian Hazen, Julius Malema, Mapisa. Stian Hazen is getting 1.6. Malema is getting 1.3. Voice counts. I mean, that's a lot of money. Oppositions, you are getting a lot of money. You should be putting more pressure. There should be more change in this country. And Mapisa, oh, it's a lot of money. He's getting close to Ramaphosa. Getting the same amount as uh, the, the deputy president. That's a lot of money. For the job that she's doing in parliament. What a shame. We're paying these people a lot of money. We should call a meeting for that sal those salaries to be reduced. We, we, are, we are really paying a lot of money. And a two liter of cooking oil is very expensive. Petrol is very expensive. Maybe cutting their salary will help us to decrease the, the price of petrol. But anyway, guys, I just wanted to show you how much these people are earning annually. So next time you see them on TV or you see them speak, you must remember that they are getting so much money. They should be delivering more on their promises. Let's talk more delivery. Because if you're going to keep on talking and promising, we're going to talk about your salary next time. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching. And until next time, cheers. Music